Hey guys, what's going on? APL here. APL Fisher on Xbox Live. And I want to tell you guys a story. And I don't know what made me think to tell you guys this story or what made me decide to or, or think about it. Um, but a couple days ago I was, I was thinking about um, this whole event that transpired in my life when I was 15 years old. And I said, you know what? I need to share this with my subscribers. I think they would. I think they would find it entertaining. So I don't know what gameplays you're watching. I'm probably going to put some one point Counter Strike 1.6 gameplay here. Probably some deathmatch, um, because the story I'm about to tell is the most embarrassing story that has ever happened to me, or the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me up till this point in my life. And I am now 24 years old. So this happened quite a, you know, nine years ago. So. Let me let me uh, let me set the stage for you for this for this story. I uh, at the time was living in um, Connecticut. Um, I lived actually in Milford, Connecticut, for uh, about a year. Um, long story for why that all that transpired. But I was in Milford, Connecticut. I was at a new high school. I was trying to find trying to find my way. It was my first. You know, it was in sophomore year. Bam! I was in I was in a new high school. So that was tough enough. So I was having a pretty tough year at school. Um, uh, you know, it's hard being the, you not knowing anyone in the entire, you know, school of, you know, thousands and thousands of kids. But anyway, <clears throat> that's really not that important to the story. So it was, a, I think it was like a school night. It was like a Thursday night or something like that. And uh, my brother and I, um, Ryan, have always shared a room together. Um, and this is somewhat important to the story because you have to understand the mindset I was in. Now, if you've ever shared a room with your brother, pretty much until, I, I think for my whole life until I moved out, I pretty much shared a room with my brother. Um... Just because, I mean, my we were my parents were never rich, so we didn't exactly have a huge house. So it was always, and I have one sister, so she always got the room, and then me and my brother got shafted, and we get the smaller room, of course, because we're the guys, and uh, we'd have to we had bunk beds, and then I, later when we moved um, to Pennsylvania, after Connecticut, um, after we lived in Milford for that year, we uh, I don't think we had bunk beds the whole time. I don't really remember. Either way. I shared a room with my brother for a long time, and this particular Thursday night, I don't remember the date or anything, but uh, we had our video game system, like I think I had a PS2 at the time or whatever, um, or even PlayStation 1, and we would play games on there, and I think he was really annoying me, I, I don't remember exactly what he was doing, but he was just being an all-around douchebag, and he's my younger brother, and I'm the older brother, so you have that brother, but so you have that dynamic, right? And... Uh, this particular school night, it was late. It was like 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. He was really annoying me. So I, I had it in my mind that I'm going to I'm going to get him back for being such a um, such an annoying little brother. So there's a couple ways you can go about doing this. One of the ways is I could just get physical with him and mess him up and, you know, show my superiority as the older brother. But that's very overrated, right? I mean, anyone can do that. That's not really, you know, that's not... The, the best way to do it, I, I don't think. I like to be a little more clever. So I decided I was going to give my brother a pretty good scare. Um, and the way I was going to do that was jump out at him. So the next thing I needed to, to do was figure out where I was going to... Um, where, I, where I would perform this, this act of surprise on him. So I was thinking around the house and where we were. We were actually at the time living in a pretty small, um, pretty small apartment and uh, with my parents. And there wasn't exactly a, very many hiding spots. So... I, I walked around for a minute, and then I saw the bathroom, and I was like, well, that's perfect. Well, like, where could you hide in the bathroom, right? There's only one spot you can hide in the bathroom, and that is is the shower, because you have the shower curtain. You can pull the shower curtain. You can wait, and then you can jump out when someone's, um, you know, I, my plan was to do it while he was brushing his teeth, and he wouldn't know where I was, and I, you know, I'd, I'd scare scare the little guy so bad he'd, he'd pee his pants or something like that. I mean, in my mind, that was the... That was the situation. That's what I felt like I was going to be able to do. Well, so uh, according to the plan, I think around, I think he was going to bed around 10 or 10.30, I, uh, I decide to get into the, uh, go into the bathroom real quick and, you know, close the shower curtain and just wait because I know he's going to be coming in any second to brush his teeth. So now that stage is set. Let me set what my sister was doing that night with her friends. My sister was actually went to a Michelle Branch, and I, who remembers Michelle Branch? I don't know whatever happened to her, but she went to a Michelle Branch concert. She was a huge Michelle Branch fan back in the day with some of her uh, friends from high school, and um, actually, they were actually chaperoned by um, one of my sister's friend's older sister, um, and we'll let her rename, 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 remain nameless. 
So they were at a Michelle Branch concert, and um, it turns out that the concert got canceled, which really sucks. So that's a giant bummer. You're excited to see a concert, and it gets canceled. So they were like, well, that really stinks. Um, so they decided to go try to see a movie. And I forget what was opening, um, that it was like an opening night for a certain movie. And they end up going to the movie theater to see this movie, and guess what? The movie's full, too, so they can't get in. So they are having an absolute terrible night. They go from wanting to go see this Michelle Branch concert um, to trying to go see this movie, and they can't. So they are extremely bummed, and they are actually, as the time that I am going into the shower, I mean, they're not supposed to be back till real late. Like, they're not supposed to be back until, um, you know, like 12, 30, 1 o'clock at night because this concert's going to go for a while. So as I'm getting into the shower, because of all these events that transpired with, with the girls, they are actually driving back and pulling into the driveway um, of, of the house that we st or the apartment that we're at. And... I okay, so I'm so so I'm in the shower, right? I have the curtain drawn, and I am just waiting. Any second, my brother is going to come walking in, start brushing his teeth, and I'm going to give him the scare of his little little lifetime, right? That's that's what's going on in my head, what I am planning. Well, I hear um, I hear a car pull up, so I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not really paying attention, and then I hear we were on the second floor apartment. I hear uh, this running up up of uh, someone running up the stairs extremely fast, and you know, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. And then I hear the running across my apartment stairs and the bathroom door slam shut. So I'm behind this curtain and I'm thinking to myself, um, I'm thinking to myself, that's not my brother. And I don't know who just ran into the bathroom. And then I hear my sister's voice and her friend. And I'm like, wait, what are they doing home so early? And I can assess very quickly that someone is opening the toilet seat, t sitting down, and unless my brother pees sitting down, which is a, would be a concern of mine, it is a female um, taking, uh, taking uh, a piss. And I suddenly realize that I am behind a shower curtain as this is occurring, right? And so, no big deal, I figure to myself. I will just, to avoid any embarrassment, I mean, this could all be explained, I'm sure, I'm th you know, as I'm trying to rationalize in my head, if I stay standing behind this curtain um, and don't move, she'll walk out, they'll leave, and we'll be fine. So I don't know who yet is in the, is in the bathroom because I'm not going to pull the curtain back, but I'm pretty sure it's not my brother. So I'm standing there. The business happens. Uh, this person leaves the room, and I learn to find out because the, the bathroom is actually in this hallway, so everyone's standing around the bathroom actually in the hallway talking so I can hear all this going on. And <laughs> so I hear the person that was in the bathroom start talking and it's the older sister of my um of my my sister's best friend who who actually was in the bathroom so i'm like okay well it's all right it sounds like they're getting ready to leave so they're all standing around and they're all talking together just about how horrible the night was and everything that went wrong with the concert my mom's there my dad's there my brother's there and everyone's just standing around in this in the hallway of course right so i can't get out of the bathroom i i gotta stay in here i'm like well if i come out now I mean, I'm still going to have to explain this to, to, to my parents who are going to see me come out of the bathroom, but. So I hear, and then, so, so they're talking, and they're, they're getting ready to leave. I can tell it's winding down, so I'm like, I'm going to survive this. This is going to be awesome. It's not going to be embarrassing. Well, at least not to, not, the girl will never know that I was in the bathroom, because God knows trying to explain that to her, I'm thinking to myself, right? Like, yeah, I was behind the shower curtain while you were taking a, taking a piss, right? That, that's going to work out. So all of a sudden, I hear my brother pipe up. He goes, hey, has, has anyone seen Scott in a while? And at this point, I've probably been in the, behind the shower curtain for the last, you know, five to ten minutes waiting for this whole thing to, to, to transpire so I can get out of the, ba of the, the sh bathroom and in the shower. And my, my dad goes, you know what? I haven't seen Scott in, in about, you know, ten or fifteen minutes. Um, I don't know what's going on. And Ryan's like, my brother Ryan's like, yeah, I, I've been looking all over for him. I can't find him either. So... He's like, yeah, I, I, I went downstairs. I checked all the room. I mean, this is not a big apartment. He's not, he's not in here. So, <laughs> my dad goes, my dad goes, well, he wouldn't be in the bathroom, uh, because, you, uh, okay, the girl's, well, we'll call her Megan, the girl that was in the bathroom, the friend of, of my sister. The, Megan was in the bathroom, and, uh, so he couldn't have been in there. Um, so they're talking, and, and it's interesting because my dad and my brother are having this conversation while the girls aren't really paying attention, and they're having a different conversation. So, as this conversation <laughs> 
is going on, suddenly my dad pipes up. For some unknown reason, my dad has this issue where he cannot stop talking. He cannot stop talking. It's as simple as that. My, if he, if he's, he, I don't know why, but sometimes when there's situations that are embarrassing, instead of just stopping and thinking about the, the ramifications, he's not even really thinking about what's going on. I mean, in his mind, the last place I could be is in the bathroom, but he says, he says this out loud to everyone. He goes, well, I mean, he could be in the bathroom, but I mean, I guess I could, I could check. And he goes, I don't. And, and and then uh, Megan starts paying attention. She's like, I don't want you to think my son is a, is like a pervert or anything hiding behind the shower curtain. And I'm standing behind the shower curtain listening to this whole thing transpire. And I I can't even believe my ears. What is going on? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so he comes into the bathroom. So I I don't know what to do at this point. Do I just do I just stand still? Or, or I mean, there's nothing I can do. I can hear him coming in. And I'm like, what? Why would he even bring this up? What was? So he opens, <laughs> so I'm standing there, he pulls back the shower curtain, and goes, and instead of, and I, and I have my, I'm trying to make him be quiet, and act like I'm not there, because I'm like, I can't even begin to try to explain the situation, once, once this is found out, and he opens the shower curtain, and goes, oh, and he yells, he goes, Scott, and Megan looks over around the door, and sees me, this girl, this poor girl, and just screams, Runs out of the apartment, taking her sister with her, and runs back to her car. <laughs> I mean, of all the, th the, the the thing about this story is that all the things that had to, to happen to, to have this split second in time where I am behind a shower curtain, they are pulling it at the same time. She has to use the bathroom really badly. I mean, it was it was literally. It, it, <laughs> I mean, I I don't know if you believe in divine power, divine intervention, or whatever, but. God was just like, or fate, or whatever you want to call it, was like, this is happening right now. You are about to get the, your most embarrassing story. Here it comes. And we've come to find out later that this girl, Megan, had told her boyfriend, who was actually in the car waiting for them to come out of the apartment so that he could drive them home. This girl, Megan, who was having a terrible night already before she thought I was hiding behind the shower trying to watch her take a, watch her urinate, <laughs> had told her boyfriend... She said, I don't think this night can get any worse before she came up into my apartment. So I don't know what else to say. It was, by and large, the most embarrassing thing, trying to explain to my parents what was going on, trying to explain that I wasn't hiding behind the shower curtain, that I was trying to scare my brother. <laughs> my sister was mortified. These were some of her best friends who now thought her brother was, her older brother was a pervert and hid behind the shower. Oh, my. Guys, I don't even... It, it took a good six months before... Me and this girl, who I was friends with, I mean, I knew Megan fairly well before, not six months, probably probably more like a month or two before I was like, I brought, I had to breach the subject because it was awkward, right? And I was just like, I just want you to know that, you know, <laughs> I wasn't spying. I mean, how do you bring that up? I forget how the conversation went, but she forgave me or she, she heard my side of the story. And now we can laugh about it um, years later, but it was the most <laughs> bizarre embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me and to this day my whole family it's like a family story my whole family blames my father who couldn't leave well enough alone and, and and had to open i mean why he would even think to open the shower curtain god knows why he said he would check on it i mean just in the small chance that i was there why would he want to reveal that anyway that's my most embarrassing story and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh i will see you next time see ya oh and one more thing even to this day <laughs> I found out years later that this poor girl, Megan, can never go into a bathroom without checking behind the shower curtain first. So she has me to thank for that. All right. Bye for real this time.